When renovating your house, you might expect to find old pictures, family heirlooms, or some childhood toys. But one homeowner and contractor uncovered the shock of a lifetime. Our Riley Livingston joins us in the studio with more on this story. Joey, this is a story of a secret that goes back more than 50 years. But investigators in Winona believe the real mystery could be even older than that. Across the street from Winona's high school, a plot straight out of a movie appears to be unfolding. Or, look over there! I see him! I see him! A version of the movie Stand By Me. Long forgotten and hidden, a skull is found. A gentleman was doing renovation work at a house on Fairground Street, and he went under the house to do some work, and when he was under there, that's when he discovered what appeared to be a human skull. But that's just the beginning of this tale. It sent everyone into a frenzy around here, and uh, because of what all was posted on Facebook, a gentleman actually seen, you know, what was going around, and we were contacted by this man. Uh, and he told us that he lived, he actually lived in the house in 1965 and stated that he's actually the one that placed the skull under the house. But Chief Investigator Dan Harrod says they don't believe this was foul play. Back in 1965, a group of boys stumbled upon the skull. Simply, at the time, some teenagers uh, walking through some woods, um, they stumbled upon this human skull. Uh, so they, I guess at the time, thinking that it was a, a cool find, they brought it back to the house. And he realized that his mother, you know, probably didn't want, want that being in the house. So he stated that he put it under the house and kind of just forgot about it. Over the years, the home changed hands, the boys grew up, and the skull was forgotten. You know, at first you see something like this and you think that there's a very good chance that it's not what you think it is. Well, when we were able to determine that that, in fact, is what it was, she was, you know, it's pretty scary feeling to realize that you own a house and not knowing it, but human remains were under the house the whole time. The skull is being sent to the Mississippi Crime Lab for testing, but what they do know is that it isn't connected to any missing persons case from Winona. The skull was found, but it was placed here in 1965, so was it 50 or 60 years ago? So it could be older than that. From my investigation, it did not come from one on. Harris says they will be looking into a hole found in the back of the skull. He says it does resemble a bullet, but they won't know until the crime lab has a chance to examine it.